Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Thief Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. I'm one of the only transgender females to do toy reviews here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be covering the McFarlane Toys Batman and Robin version of Batgirl portrayed by Alicia Silverstone. Before I get into the review, I just kind of want to give a little history about my feelings about the movie and the toys that came along with it. So initially when this movie came out, I was not the film aficionado that I am today. Not that I'm really an aficionado, but I I know my movies and I know what's good and what's bad. And I, looking back, I have to say that Batman and Robin is probably a guilty pleasure. There were some moments that I really resonated with and there was a lot about it that turns me off. But somehow I can't look away. <laughs> I saw um, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin in theaters, um, and they were such a departure from the first two films, Batman and Batman Returns, and. It, it is really difficult for me to talk about because I know it's more the studio's fault than anything else. Um, and I don't want to put the blame on Joel Schumacher, um, as many people have in the past. And George Clooney has come forward and and admitted that he was the worst Batman ever, <laughs> and I thought that was kind of funny. Um, although I really, really liked his portrayal of Bruce Wayne. Um, that was really nice. And overall, it still piqued my interest. I was in the heights of my collecting comic books and action figures and for this movie there was no exception and considering that Batgirl is one of my favorite characters of all time I was really dismayed at the departure that they took from the original character and but I thought you know what it's Batgirl So when I saw this one in toys, I, I was really torn as far as if I wanted to collect them. And at first I was just like, let me just have that girl and I'll be good. Uh, but then it comes down to the point of the build a figure of Mr. Freeze. Um, portrayed terribly by Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, but it's what he was given. Um, so I might get the rest. Um, the only one that is elusive to me right now is Poison Ivy. Um, apparently this must be a very popular figure because she's going for an outrageous amount on eBay and Amazon doesn't even have her available, uh, whereas all the other characters are. So I'll have no problem getting Batman and Robin, but to complete the set, to get Poison Ivy, 
it might cost quite a bit of money and I'm not sure if that's worth it. So I made to stick with that girl and call it good and go from there. The initial toy run was pretty okay. Um, I did get the Batgirl figure um, and she doesn't represent how she looked in the movie except for maybe a brief appearance with the cowl on. Uh, however, her hair was out in the movie and the figure had her hair tucked in. However, there was what I'm going to call an action doll um, that was about the size of a Barbie and she had a cloth uniform with some plastic detailing and rooted hair but still had the cowl on and there wasn't anything that was representative of how she actually looked in for most of the duration of the movie. This figure does that. So I'm going to bust into it and do my review. I'm going to do something a little bit different and start off with the accessories for this figure. Uh, the first being this trading card. Um, and there's the history on the back of the character. Um, this is kind of cool. I like it. Um, and it can go on my walls of popular culture. So that is really cool. There's also a stand. These are remarkable and very valuable to displaying your action figures. I wish Hasbro would get into the habit of including a stand with their figures. Um, considering the price point of McFarlane toys um, to say Hasbro Marvel Legends. Um, Marvel Legends is usually about $2 more expensive. But I think the quality, or at least the aesthetics, of McFarlane Toys is superior to Marvel Legends. Um, I do have a huge issue with a lot of breakage that comes with McFarlane Toys. Um, not so much with Hasbro, um, a little bit with their Star Wars Black Series. Um, but stands, stands are amazing. And yes, you can purchase them online at Amazon if you need to. Um, but I've yet to find one like this that have the really broad base. So here are all the various parts of the Build-A-Figure for Mr. Freeze that comes with Batgirl. And eventually I'll take them out of the bubble packaging, but it kind of really makes me want to complete this collection. and. As I stated before, I'm not sure if I'm ready to shell out a lot of money for Poison Ivy. But it would be great. It would be great. If I could. So now let's get on to the actual figure itself. So the likeness to Alicia Silverstone is actually pretty decent. And I'm not surprised, honestly. McFarlane does a really good job with getting likeness down. Um, something that I feel that Hasbro's Marvel Legends sometimes lacks on. Um, 
And the detailing on the costume is really great. It's probably going to be really hard to see. As I go through this review. But let's go ahead. She gets a little bit of a look down. She can't get a look back because of her hair and the cape. There's a good lateral lift in the arms. Although they feel a little weak. So I'm trying to be very careful. Here's shoulder pivot. There's the bicep turn. Multifunctional double jointed elbow. No wrist flex. A nice crunch forward, a good crunch back, there's a turn in the torso, there's also a turn in the waist. Lateral lift in the leg is decent, there's a hip turn. No thigh turn. Multifunctional double jointed knees. No boot turn. Flex in the foot. No rocking side to side motion. But there is also a toe flex, one of the attributes I love about McFarlane toys is the toe flex. Sometimes that can make or break displaying a figure, is if you have that toe flex. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just absolutely appreciate it more than you know and don't forget to hit like it and subscribe uh the notification bell is there if you want to be notified whenever red and slim productions upload the video also if you're inclined to help the channel grow you can do so by following the three links in the description um the last one being a link to my husband's business, small business, Derek's Designs. Thank you all so much for watching. I love it more than you could ever imagine. And I look forward to talking to you in the comments below. And as always, love and light to you all.